Hello, welcome back to IAS Tech. In this quick video, I will show you how to get response headers in Angular. So let's begin. I currently have my Angular 18 project installed in my VS Code. It is currently running in the browser. So to get response headers in Angular, you can use the HTTP client module along with the observe option. So let's see it step by step. First of all, you need to make sure that HTTP client is provided in the root level of your application. So for that, go to the app.config and here in the providers array, you have to pass a function provi provide HTTP client and that's it. Now go to the app.component.ts and here we need to inject our HTTP client service. For that, I will just use the inject function HTTP is equal to inject pass it the HTTP client. Okay. Now I will define a constructor and here I will use this dot HTTP dot get and you can use any method, whatever you prefer. And here I will use the backend endpoint URL. Okay. So this is a fake JSON placeholder API that you can also use. This is just for testing your app so it will give me the list of the posts if you hit that endpoint with the get method now i will use the subscribe function to get the data okay i consoled the response of this api call now go back to the browser and here if you look at the inspect element in the logs in the console you would notice that our data is visible in the logs. This is basically data coming from the request dot body. You don't have to literally specify the notation or dot body. You don't need to do that. It will automatically extract the body part for you and it will send it to you. Okay. But if you need headers, then you have to pass another parameter with the name, with the property observe and the value would be the response. So in this way, uh, in the console logs it will not give you the give you the body it will give you the entire response and then you will be able to extract the response or body whatever you want so let me show you now this time when this constructor executed it hit that endpoint and it gave us the response as it is instead of giving us the body like it did before and now you can see we have all of the information we have the status we have the body and we have the headers okay at this time we just need the headers now you can use simply r dot headers and save it this time if you go to the console you will see only the headers here so currently it will not give you the all of the information here but for example if you want to get the content type you can simply use dot get method and pass it the header that you want to get i want to get content dash type save it and now let's check it you can see it is giving me the content content type okay in this way you can get any other header like for example you want to uh, get the custom header that is coming from the back end you can do that as well in this way just pass the name of the header and it will give you the value back you can use it to display it in the logs also you can create a body variable and save the body from the response and you can use it as well now you can see in the console we have both information from the headers and also we have the body so here the observe property or option is not compulsory but it is the most straightforward way to access the full response including headers in the angular http client because default behavior by default http client automatically extracts the response body and returns just that this is convenient for most use cases where you only need the response data with the observe option it tells http client to return the full response object which includes headers status and body as you saw in the console there are some alternatives as well so there are some other ways to access the headers but they are generally less convenient for example you can use the interceptors to examine headers for all requests so if you only need headers occasionally, you can use the observe option just for those specific requests. This way you can choose when to receive the full response on a per request basis. 
so i think that's all what i wanted to show you in this video i hope that this video provided you some value please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos thanks for watching and see you in the next video